Good afternoon and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This team of flight controllers is watching over the systems aboard the station and all is uh, working well at this time. They're also following along with the activities of the Expedition 30 crew. The uh, crew this week has been focusing on science experiments and preparing for the departure and arrival of cargo vehicles and maintenance activities. To uh, speak of the science experiments, astronaut Don Pettit set up and ran a capillary flow experiment on Monday. That is a suite of fluid physics experiments that are investigating capillary flows and flows of fluids and containers with complex uh, geometries. In particular, the experiment he ran, called Vein Gap, studies capillary flow when there is a gap between interior corners, such as in the gap formed by an interior vein and tank wall of a large propellant storage tank. Without gravity, it is more difficult to control the flow of fluids, and this is a challenge for designing spacecraft systems. No response required. We're just going to let you know that you have a go to power off ultrasound. Pettit and the station commander Dan Burbank worked with another experiment for students called the Spheres Zero Robotics. They did a dry run of using the small bowling ball sized satellites on Tuesday. It's called the Synchronized Position Hold Engage Reorient Experimental Satellites. And this investigation helps or provides an opportunity for high school students to design research for the space station. As part of a competition, the students write algorithms for the SPHERES satellites to accomplish tasks that are relevant to future space missions. And the algorithms are tested by the SPHERES team, and the best designs are selected for a competition to operate the satellites on board the station. The crew will help with the actual challenge Monday, January 23rd, and high school student teams from the U.S. and abroad will gather for the third annual challenge at the MIT, or Massachusetts Institute of Technology, campus in Massachusetts. And that will be broadcast live on NASA television from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Burbank and Pendant also did some maintenance on the microgravity science glove box this week that uh, to prepare for its use in research it is one of the major dedicated science facilities inside the Destiny Laboratory of Station. It has a large front window and built-in gloves to provide a sealed environment for conducting science and technology experiments. The glove box is particularly suited for handling hazardous materials when the crew is present. On uh, Friday today, uh, Pettit has been working on installing the SLICE experiment inside the glove box. It's called the Structure and Liftoff and Combustion Experiment, which investigates the nature of flames in microgravity. The results from these experiments could lead to improvements in technologies which aim to reduce pollution emissions and improve burning efficiency for a wide variety of industries. Pettit and uh, European Space Agency astronaut Andre Kropers participated in the integrated cardiovascular experiment this week, both uh, participating in ultrasounds that help uh, determine the uh, time course and pattern of progression of cardiac atrophy in flight or the decrease in size of the heart muscle. Kropers also wore a halter to uh, monitor his and measure his physical activity and cardiac work in flight. Pettit also participated in a second ultrasound of his uh, leg specifically for the SPRINT experiment, the Integrated Resistance and Aerobic Training Study, which evaluates the use of high-intensity, low-volume exercise training to minimize the loss of muscle bone, muscle bone and cardiovascular function that's seen in station crew members. Cosmonauts at Anton Shklaplerov and Oleg Kononenko worked on packing up the 45 Progress vehicle for its departure from the space station on Monday. They were closing the hatch on the uh, station side of the attachment for its uh, departure. The Progress will actually depart uh, with its hatch open in order to deploy a small satellite. The 88-pound satellite called Chibis-M will be uh, deployed after the Progress undocks. Undocking is set for Monday at 4.10 p.m. Central Time, and the Progress Vehicle will be uh, deorbited on Tuesday at about 8.25 p.m. Central Time to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere with all the trash inside. Before that, uh, the satellite deployment will occur earlier on Tuesday at about 5.19 p.m. Central. The uh, vehicle will be at a distance of about 7,300 statute miles behind and 62 miles above the station. 
and that satellite will remain in orbit for at least four years, studying the interaction of plasma waves within the ionosphere. In some of the uh, maintenance work done on board the station this week, uh, Burbank did some repairs of the advanced resistive exercise device, with, in particular working with the crank handle that is used to set the load or the weight that the crew members use to exercise, because there's been a problem with a spring-loaded uh, set pin inside of that and has been allowing the uh, hardware to shift the load or the weight automatically. The repairs will uh, help with a temporary fix until a replacement uh, crank, ha crank handle assembly can be launched on the next Progress vehicle, which uh, 46 Progress is set to launch Wednesday and dock to the station on Friday. The uh, team here in Mission Control was also working with uh, things remotely on board the station. The team updated the software of several computers, including those that operate the station and its systems, and also uh, laptop computers that the crew uses to interface with those station systems. The robotics team remotely commanded the mobile transporter, its uh, space station robotic arm, Canada Arm 2, and Dexter to survey a science experiment on the outside of the station using the robotic systems cameras. It looked at the space test program Houston 3 payload, which is on the port 3 truss exposed to space testing concepts in low Earth orbit for long duration missions. Specifically looking at the Vader or variable emissiv emissivity uh, radiator aerogel insulation blanket, dual zone thermal control experiment suite for uh, responsive space tests, looking at uh, a new form of multi-layer insulation that uses aerogel as the thermal isolator to protect spacecraft from harsh extremes of the space environment.